the architect of india's green revolution dr monokombu sambasivan swaminathan or ms swaminathan passed away at 98 in chennai india his daughter confirmed the sad news my father professor ms swaminathan passed away this morning at 11:20 am in chennai at home born on august 7 1925 In Kumbakonam, Tamil Nadu, Swaminathan was shaped by early tragedies like Bengal famine. As a young student, he was inspired by Gandhi's Quit India movement and decided to study agriculture rather than medicine to serve an independent India. He won his doctorate in genetics from Cambridge. Still, he turned down a US professorship as he felt his purpose was to produce enough food in post-independence India. Dr. Swaminathan's groundbreaking work began in the early 60s. when he collaborated with American scientist Norman Borla this partnership led to the development of high yield wheat varieties putting india on the path to agriculture self sufficiency working closely with agriculture ministers like C Subramanian and Jagjeevan Ram and Nobel prize winner Norman Borla Swaminathan helped usher in india's green revolution his hybrid wheat seed more than tripled india's annual wheat crop within 15 years For example in 1966-67 India's wheat production was just one third of US output by 74 India had become self-reliant in wheat and rice production a feat recognized globally with Borla crediting much of the success to Dr Swaminathan during his Nobel Peace Prize acceptance speech in 1970 in a world often skeptical of high yield farming due to environmental concerns Dr Swaminathan championed the evergreen revolution focusing on water conservation genetic diversity and reduced energy usage this philosophy earned him accolades including the first ever world food prize in 1987 while his numerous awards like padma vibhushan and first ever world food prize in 1987 are commendable his legacy lies in the dignity and security he brought to the millions of farmers and their families <laughs>